important to you, it's important to us. Whether home, auto, business, or farm, getting your policy with a local agent matters. Howman Insurance and Company, we're in your corner. Developing overnight, Montana's governor is joining the race for the White House. Details on his announcement just ahead. Plus, flooding is causing major problems for people living near Lake Thompson. We'll give you a bird's eye view coming up. And taking the pledge to fight the emerald ash borer, how state leaders are stepping up to keep the bug from spreading. Good morning and welcome to Kelloland on the go. First off, news about more rain is not what many people want to hear, but several areas saw showers overnight. Let's go straight to the Storm Center where we find meteorologist Brian Karstens. Yes, indeed. More showers. In fact, about a quarter of an inch of rain in the Sioux Falls area. So the best thing we need is just to warm up and dry up today. And I think we'll see that on future scan. You can see our timeline there at 2 p.m. A lot of sun and the late afternoon forecast may feature a scattered shower, maybe up here in the Watertown, Sisseton area. There's a small possibility of that. And then also as we zoom out and kind of look at the Black Hills later today, there may be a shower that could sprout up here as well. But by and large, the pattern is fairly quiet the next couple of days, and that is certainly helpful for those trying to dry out. High temperatures this afternoon, 81 degrees in winter, 76 degrees in Rapid City. We're going to take a closer look at this pattern and why we think it is going to break toward uh, severe weather for some of us this weekend in a few minutes. All right, thanks, Brian. Well, breaking news this morning, Montana Governor Steve Bullock says he is running for president. The 53-year-old will be the third governor in a race with almost two dozen candidates. Bullock is telling voters that he succeeded as a Democrat in a state that leans solidly Republican, making him an ideal person to take on President Trump. More than a year after it was discovered in Sioux Falls, the emerald ash borer is still on many people's minds. The South Dakota Agriculture Department kicked off a program asking people to pledge they won't move untreated firewood. The goal is to slow the spread of emerald ash borers and other invasive species. The pledge is already gaining the attention of state officials. Normally we chop our own firewood. However, with the spread of emerald ash borer this year, we'll be taking the pledge to not transport our own firewood and we'll purchase it right at the campsite. State Treasurer Josh Hader posted this video on Facebook and challenged Secretary of State Steve Barnett to do the same. Capital News correspondent Bob Mercer is taking a closer look at the state's effort to combat the emerald ash borer. You can read the full story to, and see where to sign the pledge on the Capital News Bureau page. The city of Sioux Falls wants to change up its logo. The Sioux Falls Area Chamber of Commerce sent out a public request for proposals in hopes of finding a creative partner to execute the project. The deadline for firms to submit a proposal is June 20th. We've set up a link to the application under this story on Kelloland.com. A topic that's been a top story since March. Flooding continues to be a problem for many areas of Kelloland. And that includes the Lake Thompson area. The daily commute for those living around the lake is a wet one. The only way people can get to their homes is to drive through this water, and some believe it's only getting worse. I have a place that I mark the water, the, the level, and it seems like it goes up every day. The township marked the road with red flags, but other than that, there's not much else they can do until the water levels go down. And here's another look at just how much water is in the area. This drone video was sent to YouShare. The water seems to stretch as far as you can see. Along with the water-covered roads, there are also several campers surrounded by water. And our news crews come across a lot of interesting sites while out covering stories, and this is no exception. Check this out. Chief photographer Kevin Kiergaard came across a cat with a can on its head. He got some help to free it when he found it near Lake Thompson yesterday afternoon. All sorts of stories at Lake Thompson this week. Yeah, that's pretty funny, Brian. Yeah, and that's a good one. That, the outcome there, pretty good. But, you know, getting through that Lake Thompson story, all that water up there, last thing people want to hear about is rain. And I wish I didn't have to talk about it, but we do. In fact, the weekend starts off with severe weather concerns. And uh, the Sioux Falls area south all the way 
to the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle will be featured with severe weather. I think that that's probably the most prolific outbreak. Beyond that, into the weekend itself, it gets a little more dicey as far as getting the specifics here because obviously here we may end up seeing more of that going to the south of us and that may end up helping our cause a little bit. However, rain chances abound and absolutely the last thing anybody wants to hear about is more rain. And this weekend it is there. It's at least a 50% chance right now. I think we'll have to deal with this first low pressure center. Let it scoot by by Sunday. Uh, then we get a, maybe a small break and then we have to gear up again by late Monday, Tuesday. Your seven day forecast kind of catches the tail end of this thing. And that is next week. So. Unfortunately, not the direction we'd like to go. We do see your seven day forecast numbers in the 70s, even 83 on Thursday. But then by the start of the weekend, the thunderstorms will play a role in the temperature. I do think that uh, Aberdeen will probably be much cooler than Sioux Falls. And that's important because even 50 degree weather uh, is on the table now for maybe the end of the weekend in Aberdeen. I bet Pier and Rapid also will see significantly cooler weather to start off early next week. So not the best forecast. So enjoy the next couple days because they're the warmest by far, guys. All right. Thanks, Brian. And thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.